Well, one of the other also conspiracy theories that was really interesting involved Howard Hughes. Um, there, so uh, if you talk a bit about that, there was it involved Nixon's younger brother Donald, who opened yeah. hamburger restaurants at one point in the fifties. The, so, Nixon Burger. Yeah, so he, he sold the Nixon Burger. So my original title for the series was Nixon Burger. Yeah. <laughs> um, not something burger? No, what? Something burger? Nothing burger. Oh, nothing. Yeah, yeah, it would have been a planned nothing burger, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was wondering if you could talk about that. There's a theory involving uh, Howard Hughes, the, the reclusive uh, billionaire millionaire. Um, yeah. Yeah. You can talk about that. So, truly wild. So I said earlier that the... That the Republican leader of the Senate committee believed that it was a CIA job. Um, the Democrats on the committee, the Democratic investigators, were convinced that the reason Watergate happened, and this is actually a weird fact about Watergate, like 45 years later, we don't really know for certain why the break-in was ordered, like what they were trying to get out of this operation. Uh, the sort of generic, most sort of simple answer is, well, they like wanted to know like what the DNC was planning for that presidential campaign because they wanted to like get ahead of them. Like, what are they really, really gonna learn from like tapping the phone of the, you know? It's like, why did they really take this huge risk in order to like get the possibility of good intel? Um, and the answer is po possibly because they did a lot of other, you know, senseless, you know, gratuitous things. Um, but this other theory is that there was actually a very, very specific reason for what uh, motivated the Watergate break-in. Uh, and what made Nixon want there to be surveillance in that office. And it involves uh, Howard Hughes, uh, who, yeah, as you said, was a reclusive, you know, uh, you know, barren tycoon who um, was, a, was, was uh, someone who, you know, I think it's like easy to have fantasies about his power that are probably correct because he, I think he was like powerful in a way that I think Maybe there's people who are that powerful now, but I don't know. Anyway, he, this is kind of a convoluted story, because it, it is a conspiracy theory. It's probably correct. Uh, so when Nixon ran for uh, president the first time in 1960 against John F. Kennedy, uh, there was this thing that came out, which was that his younger brother, Donald Nixon, the like stereotypical, like, fuck up younger brother of the president, which is a bizarrely consistent Thing in history, um, had taken a massive loan from Howard Hughes in order to fund this hamburger restaurant. Uh, and the theory was that actually this was just a bribe to, the, to, to Nixon, who was then uh, Vice President Eisenhower. And there was, you know, there was some evidence that, like, the, that Nixon as VP had uh, pushed certain policies in, in Howard Hughes's favor, like because he had all these kinds of investments that benefit, you know, that had, that depended on certain po policies being put into place. Anyway, so, so that came out during the, 60, the, the 1960 campaign, and Nixon became convinced that this was the reason he lost to Kennedy. Uh, this, these are this embarrassing series of stories about this loan. Um, and he, he was like so preoccupied with it that during, during later years, he actually had Donald Nixon, his younger brother, uh, wiretapped uh, to make sure this didn't happen again. Um, but then, it sort of did happen again because Hughes gave a separate, equally huge loan to Nixon's best friend, uh, a guy named Bibi Rebozo. It's an amazing name. Uh, he, this guy was truly Nixon's best friend. He was like possibly his only friend. Uh, one person told me like they were really close. They were just because Nixon knew that he could just he that he and Bibi could sit you know in a fishing boat and just not talk for hours and just <laughs> drink and fish and he, he owed him no explanation. Um, and so Howard Hughes had lent Bibi Rebozo a bunch of money, um, and the Democratic investigators were convinced that this was also a bribe to Nixon, you know, even a, an even more important bribe because now Nixon was actually the president. And so Nixon was terrified, according to this theory, that someone would find out that Howard Hughes, that they're about, about the second Howard Hughes loan. And because of the experience of the 60 campaign, he was like really, really motivated to prevent that from happening. And so he wanted to uh, bug the DNC's phones because he had heard that uh, uh, the chair of the DNC had some whip of this, and so he wanted to know how much he knew, and that's what motivated the uh, the break-in. 